this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to remove the uh, yellow tint from uh, someone's teeth uh, after the photo has been taken so we're just going to do a bit of uh, some uh, dental cleaning here. So we have here a pretty nice picture but the um, yeah, the teeth, they, they could be a little bit less yellow. So what we can do here is uh, add an adjustment layer uh, called hue and saturation, which will allow us to actually uh, make modifications to the saturation of the yellow so that it's less yellow, right? Uh, the problem when you change the saturation is that things go from color to black and white. So when you reduce the saturation, uh, you'll get these gray teeth. So the solution to that is to then um, apply some lightness to make it whiter so that you're removing the yellow and you're adding a bit more white and therefore fixing the uh, problem of yellow teeth. So we're just gonna, for now, we're just gonna uh, leave everything at zero. Click OK. Because the thing that we want to do is uh, actually select the teeth so that we can be uh, making sure that our, our adjustment layer is only modifying the teeth and not the entire image as it would at the moment. So we need to go back into our original layer here of the image and we need to select the teeth. So we're just going to zoom in here. And um, if you're using one of the new versions of Photoshop, then you'll find that uh, the easiest tool is probably the Quick Selection tool. Uh, if you don't have the newest versions, then you can use the Magic Wand tool or perhaps even the uh, mag Magnetic Lasso tool to help you along uh, making that selection. If you have the uh, Quick Selection tool, um, you, all you have to do is just click and drag and um, make that selection. You'll find that uh, sometimes it uh, the quick selection tool is very quick to uh, actually select things that are outside of the uh, you know of the image that's not the, t the teeth you know gums and lips and so forth. So the way to fix that is to hold down alt on the areas that it's uh, done too much and just drag that along and it'll it'll be quite snappy to actually fix these these errors. Make sure that the one quick tip here that I give you is to actually use a small enough brush um, when you're doing these modifications um, so that uh, you are not getting too much of the gums and you're getting enough of the teeth. Okay, with that selected, we go back into our heat saturation uh, layer mask. So what we want to do is invert the selection. So we do a shift Control and I to invert the selection or just go to select and inverse here, but the shortcut is shift control and I and so we're selecting everything but the teeth and now we're going to add a mask so we're gonna with our black as our foreground we're gonna, and actually that it's that's pretty good so uh, what you're trying to look for here is so that your teeth aren't a too gray and be too white right too sparkling white and we're gonna just press alt and backspace and we're filling in everything except for the teeth so that will allow us to actually make a modification just to the teeth and everything in black will be uh, the part that will be unaffected everything in white so just the teeth area here is the area that's going to be affected so now we'll go back into our hue and saturation layer by double clicking on it and now you can see that if for example we change the lightness we're just changing the teeth here and nothing else. So to make sure that you have uh, done the right settings here, to have the right mask, uh, just make sure that you play around with the lightness here. You'll see that if it's, it's just the teeth that's moving around or changing, uh, then that's that's correct. That's what you want. So now what we want to do, like I said, is a two-step thing. We want to desaturate the yellow. So we're going to change that saturation down. And we want to have the saturation down around... 20 to 40 percent depending how yellow the teeth are. Uh, in this case I think I'm going to leave it around 35 and now we want to play around with lightness and increase that by a bit. Now the lightness you'll find that you'll want a lightness of around um, 10 to 25 um, percent. Usually you'll need a lot less than what you think you are using and the good thing about the adjustment layer is you can go back in and change these settings. So for now just apply something conservative. Click OK and actually allow the time for you to zoom out and uh, compare the before and after. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.